Today, we're diving into what's being called Labour's Pensions Death Tax, a controversial policy change in the UK that could leave elderly people more dependent on the state and spark a spending frenzy among retirees. So, what's this all about? And why are experts sounding the alarm? In a move that's raising eyebrows across the board, the government has announced its decision to end the inheritance tax exemption for unused pension pots. This means that, starting April 2027, any money left in your pension when you pass away will be subject to inheritance tax. And yes, that's a 40% tax on assets over £325,000. Former Pensions Minister Baroness Altman didn't hold back on this one. She warns that this change is going to push people to spend their pension savings early. Think about it. If your pension could face a heavy tax hit when you pass away, you might feel pressured to spend it now instead of leaving it behind. But that could mean more elderly people running out of savings too soon and becoming more dependent on the state. Baroness Altman even called its hort-sighted and ideologically driven, warning that it will have long-lasting negative consequences, both for individuals and the economy. She's joined by other voices, like John O'Connell from the Taxpayers' Alliance, who says it'll shock taxpayers to their core. So how many people will this affect? According to the government's estimates, around 10,500 estates that were previously exempt from inheritance tax will now face it. And about 38,500 estates will pay more under these new rules. The message is loud and clear. People who have saved diligently for retirement are being targeted. But that's not all. Maxwell Marlow from the Adam Smith Institute points out that this policy could have a chilling effect on investment. If pensioners withdraw their money earlier to avoid taxes, there'll be less money left in pension funds to invest in growing companies. It's a ripple effect that could ultimately slow down economic growth. This policy shift isn't just about money. Former Pensions Minister Guy Opperman warns that it could discourage people from saving in the first place. He's concerned that this change will make the tax system so unappealing that people may retire early or even move abroad to escape it. For those middle and high income earners who help drive economic growth, this could be the tipping point. Now, the government argues that these changes are necessary to ensure pensions are used to fund retirement rather than as tax loopholes for passing on wealth. A spokesperson from the Treasury noted that pension funds left to a spouse or civil partner will still be exempt from inheritance tax and that significant tax relief remains in place for pensioners. The Resolution Foundation has also backed the government's move, calling it a step to prevent pensions from becoming tax planning vehicles at a time when wealth inequality is growing. They argue it's about fairness, saying the system shouldn't encourage people to treat pensions as wealth transfer tools. But there's more frustration. This outrage follows recent decisions to cut winter fuel payments for most pensioners, with only the poorest still receiving them. Rianne Bowen-Davies, the Older People's Commissioner for Wales, warned that this move will mean hundreds of thousands of older people could miss out on crucial support. The question on everyone's mind, how much more will pensioners be asked to bear? So what do you think? Is this a much needed reform to make the system fairer? Or is it a dangerous policy that's about to put more financial strain on pensioners? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on the latest political and economic news.